He said in French, you're a bunch of feminists, and he started to shoot. Mark Lapine stalked the floors with a semi-automatic rifle he bought specifically for one purpose, to kill women. Some he shot as they ran or tried to hide. Others, after separating them from the men, he executed, saying, you're all feminists. I hate feminists. In the end, Lapine killed 14 women before turning the gun on himself. It's hard to overstate the shock and the terror of that day. Many Canadians say they still feel that trauma. So today, hundreds gathered at a ceremony here in Montreal. As Alison Northcott explains, the culmination of a day of intense emotion. This is where the trauma began 30 years ago at Ecole Polytechnique. She hid herself, but uh, since she was uh, blonde with long hair, I probably he, he spotted her. It's where Catherine Bergeron's sister, Geneviève, was killed. We used to call her our sunshine. Uh, very, very talented in a lot of uh, film and very kind. Bergeron says she and her sister grew up believing women could be anything they wanted. Everything was possible. And then when this happened, did that? I understood that, and not, that it was not that. The ceremony tonight drew people touched by the event in many ways, some so closely. Stéphane Chaillet was in the classroom when Marc Lapine walked in. I remember him shooting in the, on the wall. I remember us panicking, not knowing what we had to do. Over the years, he says his perspective on what happened has changed. It was maybe easier to think that it was just a, an individual that had mental hiddenness. So it took me maybe 20 years to realize what this was all about. And what is that? I think it's, it was about violence against women. I am an engineer through and through. Governor General Julie Payette said there's still a need to call out the sexism that remains today. To the belittling, the dehumanizing, the name calling that we observe so often, especially to any woman who raise her head above the crowd. We have to speak up and say no. Nathalie Croteau. And then 14 beams of light lit up the sky, one for each of the victims. 30 years ago, these women's respective lives and destinies were shattered, which has left us with the obligation to reflect on this loss. I graduated in mechanical engineering, and like I feel that I have the future that those girls won't have. <laughs> 30 years later, on a day that looks just as it did then, it is as raw as it ever was. And so, Alison, I guess what makes this e even more sobering is, is news that there's been, you know, a, a charge connected to the story of that massacre, even today. Yes, Montreal police said that they have arrested a man who ran a blog that glorified the Polytechnique killer. They mm -hmm. say that it contained uh, misogynist material and that he's facing charges of incenting hate and that this isn't the first time that that man's been arrested on similar charges. Even today. Thanks very much, Alison. Now, it's not just Montreal remembering tonight. Canadians paid tribute all across the country, including in the House of Commons. Each December, as we honour the memories of those 14 women, the survivors and the families, we promise to do better. But the reality is that in 30 years, things haven't changed enough. Bloc MP Andrienne Larouche read out the victims' names. And the House observed a moment of silence. Also in the capital region, marchers called for an end to violence against women. While students and faculty at Carleton University stood in solidarity in a spirit of defiance. These are some very powerful, important women. They were about to do something great with their lives. But today we've made it to 30 years and women are making it everywhere in engineering. And it just really speaks to me. A message echoed at the University of Manitoba in Winnipeg, New Brunswick's University of Moncton, and at Dalhousie University in Halifax. For us, the December 6th is a symbol of the determination and perseverance of women. Despite the adversity, despite the resistance. And in Toronto, Mayor John Tory today proclaimed December 6th 
a national day of remembrance and action on violence against women.